guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial and first impression of the Tartlet Toasted palette. I have the other two Tartlet palettes and I love them. So I already have a feeling that I'm going to love this. Here's what the inside looks like. So right off the bat, I think it's even prettier than the other palettes. And what I really like about it is it has such a nice mix of neutral tones, which are what we use most often and also it has such a nice balance of mattes and shimmers. Um, some palettes will have like too many shimmers, some will have all mattes. This is just like so gorgeous. I already have um, the rest of my face done. I already put some concealer on my eyelids. Um, I do have to just set that with some powder. I usually will set with the RCMA, no color powder. So we start by doing that. Concealer is already starting to crease. So I'm gonna make sure all of that's set. And then I'm gonna continue to use this fluffy brush um, to go in with a transition shade, and I'm gonna be picking up cashmere, this shade right here. Just working that into my crease. I'm actually going to switch brushes. I'm going to switch over to this brush, which is just a little bit fluffier. It has like shorter bristles, too, and it's the one that comes in on the Anastasia palettes. And just really good to start for a transition to get nice and blended. I'm going to be picking up a little bit of the shimmery color sunrise and just highlighting the highest point on my brow bone. Next I'm dipping back in to the shade warmth, the shade right here. And I'm just taking this on the outer portion of my eye. And I'm blending with left on the brush up into the crease. And then before I move on, I'm just going to get back into cashmere, which is the lighter shade, and go over that one more time just to make sure it all blends seamlessly. Next, I'm going to be dipping into the shade Cozy, which is a really nice, like, rust color, almost like a burgundy tone. And again, just keeping that on the outer portion, the middle to outer portion of my eye. And then again, before moving on, I'm just dipping back into warmth. And going over the outer crease one more time to make sure those two colors blend. Next, I'm going to be switching brushes to the brush that came with the Kylie um, set. It is most similar to a MAC 217, and I'm going to be dipping into Fireside, which is the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm going to be just keeping that color on the most outer point of my eyelid, right in the outer V. And then before moving on any further, dipping back into the last shade, which was Cozy. And just making sure that it blends in nicely with Fireside. Now I'm just going to take my concealer brush and clean up the corners of my eye. And then lastly, for my lid color today, I'm going to pick one of the shimmer colors. I think I'm probably going to go with Candle, although I'm dying to try out Crackle, which is a brown shade with maybe green specks in it, like a lime green or a gold specks in it. It's really pretty. But yeah, we're gonna go with Candle for today. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just gonna be carving out on my lid where I'm gonna be putting this color. And then also just laying some more concealer down here so it has something sticky to stick to. Switching over to a Sigma E55, 
almost flat brush and we start packing that color on. And I'm gonna actually dip into one more shade. I'm gonna also go into Flame, which is like a burgundy shimmer, just to blend these two colors together. For my bottom lash line, I'm going to first be running the shade Warmth all along the lash line. Then I'm gonna be going back into the darkest shade Fireside, just on the outer portion of my eye. Next, I'm just going to complete this look with some top and bottom liner and a pair of lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put my eyeliner and lashes on. Um, I use the Inglot Gel Liner um, for top and bottom today. Normally, I only use this for bottom, but I couldn't find my NYC Liquid Liner, so struggled a little bit today. Um, and then for lashes, I have Lily Lashes on. I think this is the style Miami. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Does anyone else have tons of lashes around that are not like, that you don't keep put them back in the box after you wear them once? And yeah, so I just have like lashes everywhere and they're not labeled, but I think that these are Miami. So that completes this look for today. I absolutely love this Tartlet palette. The packaging is just so cute too. The colors in here, again, they're just so wearable. There's so many colors that you can actually like use for everyday use. And I do a lot of clients. And I'm not always using like crazy colors. Um, usually I'll stick with earth tones and stuff for brides or clients um, that come into my studio to get their pictures taken for like an updated headshot. Not everyone wants to have like wild, crazy colors on. So these are the colors that I go to all the time so it's great to have another palette with all of them right in one spot so i absolutely love this palette comment below and let me know if you've tried this palette and what you thought and if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials bye